the storm passes over Puerto Rico, people are already reporting widespread damage and power outages. The chaos has Cleveland's Puerto Rican community on edge as they keep up with loved ones back home. News 5's Mona Kozar Abdi joins us live from West 25th and Clark, and that's home to Cleveland's Puerto Rican community with the story all new at 5. Mona? Danita, there's no saying the devastation that a storm of this magnitude can cause on the already financially depleted nation. But so far, just seeing the images that are coming out of the Caribbean, folks here who have family members on the island are already on edge. It's the call Alexandra Pagan has been waiting for. Okay. 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 Her worry growing as Hurricane Irma's eye sweeps its cold stare over Puerto Rico. Pagan's family on the island bracing for its wrath. They're scared. Genuinely, they're scared. You can tell in their voices and we can only give them words of encouragement. Irma is the biggest storm to hit the Caribbean nation in nearly 100 years. Puerto Rico's governor declared a state of emergency and designated emergency shelters. I can only... Um, Pray for a good outcome on a Category 5. Especially for her grandfather, who's in his 90s. My grandfather is an old-timer that believes it's going to miss us, it's not coming. The natural disaster comes second to a financial one the country has been experiencing. Puerto Rico has $74 billion in debt, leaving it on the verge of bankruptcy. To that extent, one of the recommendations of this oversight body was to cut back on things like uh, safety forces. Community activist Juan Molina Crespo fears the country's financial woes will affect the recovery effort. He's also concerned about the restoration of power. The Puerto Rican Power Authority estimates some residents will be out of power anywhere from four to six months. So if you lose electricity, not only do you lose air conditioning, which is, of course, a necessity in Puerto Rico, but you also lose access to water. And Alexandra Pagan tells me that just last week, she and her family, through their business, were collecting supplies for those affected by Hurricane Harvey. She never thought the next collection might be for her family members. Live in Cleveland, Monaco Sarabdi, News 5.